And welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an exciting deck. We got War Mother's Karma. All right, so War Mother's Call is just a really cool card that I've basically always seen with uh, with Fre with um, Shadow Isles. You know, like we play War Mother's Call and we play Shadow Isles in here, and then you play cards like Ruination um, and Withering Whale and things like that. Um, but instead, what we got going on here is we got War Mother's Call with Karma, and so therefore playing Ionia, because Karma seems like it's just amazing with War Mother's Call. Because if War Mother's Call can put in Karma for you, that's awesome. If you know, like the goal of this deck is to get enlightened as fast as possible. Whenever you're enlightened, um, then uh, then Karma starts playing two spells each time you cast one. So if, if you're enlightened and then you cast War Mother's Call with a Karma in play, you get two of them. You know, so double War Mother's Call is pretty insane. Um, and also, you know, with Ionia, we get Dawn and Dusk. So you have Dawn and Dusk, Anivia combo. Like, that's a huge combo. But even using Dawn of Dusk on, like, Avaros and Hearthguard could be pretty insane. Or you just use it to draw extra cards with Shadow Assassin and Avaros and Sentry. Um... So we don't have like as good of sweepers, but you know Karma can help us draw extra cards. Um, our our main sweeper here is Winter's Breath, but we have to have an Enlightened Karma for it to work. So basically, if we have an Enlightened Karma in play, then we can cast Winter's Breath, and then um, you, the first one frostbites all their enemies, and then the second one uh, kills kills them. Um, hey pools. Um, so yeah, so that's well, <laughs> you can just give. Anivia love and, and tile the deck after Anivia. And basically, if you're playing War Mother's Call, you should be playing Anivia for the most part. Like, you know, Anivia is kind of implied with War Mother's Call. Um, yeah, and and yep, another excuse to play Averroes and Hearthguard. Our our main card that we want on turn three every game is Catalyst of Aeons. We want this. We You know, this is our ramp spell. Um, we want to ramp uh, each game. That's, that's, our, that's what we want. We want that and Avalanche early. All right, so let's give it a try. Let's play some War Mother's Karma. Let's do it. This will be fun. And we're playing Spooky Karma. So this is going to be a long game. Buckle in. Get your popcorn ready. Looking for Catalyst of Aeons. That's definitely our best card to draw. Come on, Catalyst. Yeah, the O3 Mana Stone creatures are not impactful enough to run. Catalyst of Aeons on turn three would have allowed us to have Hearthguard on turn four. Like those those curve very well into each other. So I kept the Hearthguard hoping that we would have drawn Catalyst with our other six cards that we drew before turn three, but we didn't. So is it Laura Craft Laura Croft G O? What's So Laura Croft G O and Monument Valley 2 are free at the moment in the Play Store. Okay, for like in the Like in in Steam? Or like or those apps? Okay, they're both puzzle games for the phone. Gotcha. Good to know. Many drives under one banner. So I'll wait a turn to play Karma so that we can have Deny to protect Karma. Where there is life, there is hope. Bleh. They get Karma first. There you are, Catalyst. Where have you been? I will play my part. Okay. You're a little late, Catalyst. Um, 
I think I just let that happen. I could, I could bounce it back to my hand. I think I just let that happen though. Gonna try to take Karma advantage back. Okay. We get a deny out of their hand. That's good. You know, like when we have stuff like War Mother's Call, we do not want that to be denied. So we'll get a de deny out of their hand. Yeah, if we did recall him, then play him again, then yeah, everything in our deck would have plus two, plus two. Which is why that was so enticing. But I also just wanted I wanted to play Karma because Karma is so good. Hmm. I don't really want to deny that, but I know that we should. Hey WQ, it's going good. Yeah, it's definitely the the goal of the game is to resolve War Mother's Call for sure. Ah, oh, it's great. So this turn we're going to be playing Catalyst. To ramp up to 10 mana next turn. Problem is, is they can kill. They can kill Karma. Dang, we're drawing these denies pretty well. I think I'm just gonna let this resolve. Kills their karma also. We should be able to resolve War Mother's Call right now. Don't have denied mana available. Come on, karma. Eh, I guess I'll take a hearth card. That sounds good. Oh, this is Shadow Flare, not Dawn and Dusk. I was thinking this was Dawn and Dusk. That's Shadow Flare. So if I play a Nivea, I don't have Deny available. Um... Stand together. I have ten, 10 cards in hand, so I have to play something. Makes sense. I 
<laughs> Thanks, Necros. Thank you. That should have drawn us a card, but I knew now I am cool head didn't have don't have space. <sighs> Too many cards. I just have too many cards. I have to cast something. Like, are they gonna go to attacks? Like, if they just pass back. Like, if I just pass and then they just pass back, that's like worst case scenario for me. I guess I'll just throw out this archer. I kind of want them to attack though with these with the life gainer and give it ephemeral. You know, like I, I kind of want to play Shadow Flare. That's the th thing that I wanted to do. I just want to get that card out of my hand. If it's a fight they want. I want to wait till we get Karma and play before I play Winter's Breath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten cards. Okay, never mind. Let's say like if, if they tap out and have ten cards and I bounce Karma. Sure. Karma just die. Yeah. Yeah, recall would just kill the karma. Is this thing burst speed? It is burst speed. Our plan is get another karma. Ugh, not a karma. And then just like, you know, burst speed this thing and double it up and kill him. Nine cards in hand right now. Leaping into action. Find enlightenment. Brace yourself. So this game's not really too close to being over. Either way.
This is gonna be a long one. Yay! We get a karma! Yay! All right, now we going. Still, their denies are going to be like triple denies. So they deny a winner's breath. <laughs> no, Trindamir would not finish this by now. The opponent plays cards too. Steal an enemy follower this round. So their plan is just to steal this thing? Why do they want to steal this thing? I mean, attack with it, obviously, but... I mean, they're. I'm. I'm sure they have like vengeance and will of Ionia and stuff like that. I. I wouldn't say that just like. Oh man, we're we're about to win with double battle fury. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna have stuff like. And they they play a vengeance. It's not like I can deny vengeance because they, it triples it up. Same with you know will of Ionia, like those kind of cards. Um, like I want to play Winner's Breath, but with just one Karma, Winner's Breath is two things. I need both things to resolve, and they they could deny one of those to. There we go. A second Anivia. That gets plus four, plus four, because we've played four hearth guards. <laughs> the War Mother's Call definitely is putting us ahead. It's doing that. So if I if I play Battle Fury, we're at five mana left. I think it's worth it to play Battle Fury. Over not play Battle Fury. But it doesn't mean that we're just going to win. But I think it's worth it playing it. Okay. It does win. We do win, though. Dude, our deck is sweet. War Mother's Call. With Karma. Oh, man. This is awesome. <clears throat> the super fast aggro decks are going to give us trouble, definitely, but, you know, it's cool, like, completely outgrinding Spooky Karma. <laughs> I don't think I've ever won versus a deck that resolves War Mother's Call. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. I, I have a few times, but you have to be very, you know, you have to be really far ahead. You know, you have to have, like... Uh, you know, four, five, six creatures in play, and they have nothing, and they play the War, war Mother's Call. Um, is this... Is Avalanche good against Garen Fiora? Obviously, I don't need Dawn and Dusk. Um, I'm keeping Catalyst, and yeah, I think we keep Avalanche also. Twin Disciplines. Oh, we'll send that back. We want, like, a Hearth Guard. Yeah, they had double karma, but they, they played both of those karmas after after my War Mother's Call. You know, I was saying that you have to be far ahead whenever they play the War Mother's Call. They had they didn't like have anything in play whenever I played like they played Ruination, and so the the battlefield was clear whenever I cast War Mother's Call. So I was the one that was ahead whenever I played it. Frank and Grace. 
All right, Avalanche not looking so great. I was hoping they were going to have a whole bunch of Bright Steel Protectors as their two drops and, you know, Fleet Feather Trackers, but... We ramp in. I don't know the name Laurent. This is kind of awkward. We just can't. We can't have a good turn this turn. Yeah, this is just a pretty awkward turn. Oh, you gave him 396 puff caps? Awesome. Nice, Seymour, nice. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, all their creatures are pretty beefy. My only way to double spell is to play this and then play Shadow Assassin. That's my only way to double spell. See, these are the cards I want them to play before my Avalanche. What are they doing playing all of them now? My heart and sword for the Mossy. Feel the set heart. I probably should have played Dawn and Dusk, actually. Yeah, I should have just played Dawn and Dusk. Yep. Yep, that was that was a mistake. I should have played Dawn and Dusk, not Hearthguard. I would have had I would have had one more blocker. And I would have drawn two cards. But yeah, I guess I'm Oh. Down to two. Alright, not dead. So obviously I need to play this to kill those two. Yeah, I I wish I would have done differently that hearth card turn. All right, let's let's just kind of attack, see what happens. Um, don't think I'm gonna win though. That my avalanche, that av you know that avalanche turn ended up being very poor because right after that they had all the cards that avalanche would have been better. I, I wish I would have not played avalanche that turn and played either hearth card or karma. This game's over if they just attack. So expecting them just to attack. Just a little too slow. I, I 
You need to sequence perfectly early on in the game with this deck, and I don't think I did. I think I needed to... I kind of learned. I think I need to, you know, against the aggressive decks like this, you really need to, like I said, sequence perfect perfectly. I need to kind of think it over a little bit more. Yeah, it's a combination of the Avalanche play and the Dawn and Dusk play. I think those two things I needed to do differently. But we're also, we just had like a pretty awkward hand after the double catalyst. We really didn't have a good, you know, like we double catalyst, you know, like we have to like really catch up for getting that extra mana and I didn't have a good turn for, like, you know, I didn't have a good double spell at all. None of these are catalyst. I want, catalyst is the card I want more than any other. I'm in, like we're playing like a mirror match. I think catalyst is the most important card. So, mulligan them all. Kayakari, getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Y'all, let's get some hype votes in the chat. Show some support for our brand new sub. Thanks, Kay Kayakari. GG's. Yeah, we just we just played against you, right? And then, and... Is that correct? And, and you defeated us with the uh, Demacia? Oops, not three, two. A chill in the air. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. You should not hate yourself for playing that deck. That deck's good. And it's it's fun to play, and it's it's a back and forth deck and everything. It's good. It's a good deck. Yeah, Demacia cards are cool. They're out there. I'll spot them. Winter take you. They're being super aggressive. Arrows at the ready. Super uh, aggressive. Ready the torches. Light the signal fire. All right, so I'm just going to be avalanching. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. If I avalanche this turn, yeah, I'm, still, I'm just going to avalanche. Well. No, maybe a catalyst. I could see this being like more of a spider heavy deck. Then playing like some more spider cards and stuff like that. Now with that attitude, there's not. Yeah, it's more interactive than the elusive. Yeah, I like I like the Demacia deck more than the elusive deck. So let's see, next turn I'm going to have seven. Ooh, so do I play Shadow Assassin now or Karma with Deny Backup? Probably Karma with Deny Backup. Where there is life, there is hope. How did, did you, have you seen my, my Teemo, my like, uh, the Teemo Wayfinder deck? Because I was saying you wanted to play a Teemo deck, that could be the Teemo deck for you. Um, I do not understand very much French. Or that language. It looks very French. It's okay. It's alright, Rune. Yeah, I, I 
do not. I took a little bit of French in high school, and so that's why I kind of recognize the language, but that was, I don't know, close to 20 years ago now. And it wasn't that much. I would love to be able to play Dawn and Dusk and copy the Karma twice and get two free spells. But then I don't have Deny to, to protect. You know, like if I try that, then they just have, you know, like Vengeance or whatever and kill the Karma in response. That would be bad. Or that. Yeah, if you're saying you, you gotta play a Teemo deck, definitely check out this Teemo. If you ha didn't see the Teemo Wayfinder from three days ago, play. Check out this deck. This deck's so much fun. Uh, why not just Elixir there? Because I forgot that Elixir was in my hand and I could have done that. But the opponent surrendered, so. They knew that we were super far ahead. We had a flipped karma. They had nothing. So it's all good. Easy peasy. How'd you like that undying control, Rockborn? From yesterday. Yasuo. Alright, looking for Catalyst. There it is. Cool, it worked really well. Nice. Glad to hear. Uh, what champs do most people consider to be broken slash OP? I think Ezreal is number one on that list right now. Um... But kind of just all four of the spell champions. Ezreal, Karma, Heimerdinger, Lux. They're all pretty broken slash OP. Why does that have to be a 3-3? Three, three? Why can't that be a 2-2? Two, two? Lux is slower than the others, yes. That was that was very bad by me, by the way, because I was at 19. You can only go up to 20. You can't go above 20. I should have waited. Team. So I only gained one life. So I should be at two more life than once. I am ending at. Hmm. 
Yes, this is still in beta currently. Um, it is planning on release. Sometimes I see hot, just needs warm spot. Uh, sometime this year. But, I mean, sometime the, the first half of this year. Like, so the next couple of months. It'll be released, and whenever it's released, it'll be on mobile as well. Mobile is currently available in Singapore. As they're testing it out, you know, making sure it, it works and everything like that. I don't think I'm winning this game. As you can probably tell, my opponent's got all this cool stuff, and I don't. But we'll see. Karma or Hearthguard? I guess probably Karma. So we can get free spells. We're probably going to need spells. We don't need creature size. We need spells. These are dangerous lands. Where there is life, there is hope. Hey, Jelly Tug. Hope everything's going good. <laughs> Sup, Jelly? That's fun to say. Hey, R Riaz! You just went 7-1 on... You just got your first 7-win trial for an expedition. Nice. That's a feels good. And that's not easy either. Good job. I go unseen. Yeah, I don't I don't really see any way that I can win this. I guess yeah, Winter's Breath. Winter's Breath's the only card that yeah, that's that's our only out. So we have to have Karma, transform, and then play Winter's Breath. I guess the two of those cost 12 mana, so I can play them both next turn as long as I have two plus mana banked. Which would mean I would be able to play Anivia this turn. No, which means I need to play Shadow Assassin this turn, because I need to I need to give myself more draws. Good thing. I played Shadow Assassin because our top card was not Winter's Breath. There's only one Winter's Breath in the deck. So it's not a very likely chance that we draw it. But it's the card we need to draw. Winter's Breath. Life Gain. Can Life Gain do it? So let's see... I guess Life King could could possibly do it. But obviously they can have a lot of spells. Like it's not like like we can stabilize if they have nothing, but once they start playing stuff, I don't I don't know if we're gonna stabilize. Like this is It's a very small chance that we survive my opponent's next attack. Very small chance. Okay, well, that's gonna do it. We'll knock them down. Two and two. Would have been my favorite decks slash champions in Rune Terra so far. This has always been a tough. This is a tough question to ask. I know it's a it's, you know it's a popular question that people ask. It's it's tough to answer for me because I'm not I'm just not one that really has favorites too much. Like I, 
I kind of appreciate all like there's 24 champions and I kind of appreciate them all and I I enjoy playing all of them for different reasons and everything like I that's just kind of the person that I am like I I appreciate things for what they are so I'm not really one that has favorites but if I had to pick um like Teemo Teemo would be there uh, like Teemo would probably be number one as far as favorite champion would be Teemo um, it's just uh, giving the opponent, opponent's puff caps and kind of playing on that it has been pretty enjoyable. Is there a way to put like a... I need to put something on my chair that keeps my dog from stopping... from to stop scratching my chair. Alright, so yeah, pick one each, each region. Alright, so Teemo was PNZ. Um, Ionia. I've definitely played the most Karma. Let's see, there's Karma, Yasuo. Uh, what are the other two in, in Ionia? I can't think of what the other two, who the other two in Ionia are. Hmm. Oh yeah, Zed. Oh yeah, never mind. I probably just played more Zed than anybody else. Yeah, I have probably played more Zed than anyone else in Ionia. Because I consider I can't think of the other person. Shen. Oh, yeah. Shen. I don't like Shen. So, I mean, I guess... I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, Karma and Zed are the two that I play the most from those. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, oh, um, sorry, I have a lot of questions to answer, I need to, I need to pick this up. Alright, so favorite for one from each region, so I guess I would say Yasuo is my favorite one from Ionia, and then, uh, Freljord, I guess Anivia, um, Noxus, Vladimir, um, Where else we got? Uh, Demacia. Probably Lucian. And... The War Mother will unite us all. I like Hearthguard size against Draven, so I'm playing it over Karma. Shadow Isles, um, Thresh. Yeah, I like Thresh and Shadow Isles. There we go. All right, next question. Do you think Heimer Karma is good in this metagame? Not exactly sure. It's been a long time since I've played Heimer Karma myself. It's been since, uh, like, I haven't played Heimer Karma since the last patch. So I'm honestly just not sure how, how good that deck is. I just don't know. Um I guess I'm yeah, I'm just dead. Yep, GG's.
Oh, well, they didn't use the spinning axe to kill me. But I'm sure they can do one more point of damage along the road. <laughs> there we go. Pop cap. Yeah, like, I, I wasn't going to survive that. That Draven is rough, how it doesn't die to Avalanche, so... Our deck definitely struggles against aggressive decks. But against the control deck, ours felt awesome. Draven Heimerdinger instead of Ezreal playing a Heimerdinger. It's interesting. Hmm. Creatures with three toughness are a problem. We love Catalyst of Aeons, because we can play Catalyst on turn three, which would give us the five mana crystals on turn four for these. So we'd love, love, love to draw Catalyst of Aeons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good mulligan, right? Don't have anything to do till turn five. A good quality mulligan. Just will never play anything. No. Still can't play anything. Still can't play anything. Alright, we can finally play something. So I want, so I'm playing this so, you know, so it can block and, you know, I want to be able to protect Karma with the deny. We can also protect this like this. Yeah, what a game, right? Yeah, we start at, start at five mana each. Okay, that's fine. Took a lot of spells. So now I guess I play Hearthguard again instead of Karma. Our strength is yours. Answers. I have them. I feel like maybe we need a second Winter's Breath in here instead of a second Dawn. Like there's two Dawn and Dusk, one Winter's Breath, but I kind of feel like it should be the opposite. Maybe it should be two Winter's Breath, one Dawn and Dusk. There's a lot of these games that like, like basically Winter's Breath is our only sweeper and we kind of desperately need a Winter's Breath because of that. Maybe I need to attack more than Nivea. So I bounce T Hex, then it costs eight mana.
My plan is to bounce T Hex, cast Avalanche. Try to kill Draven and you know kill Draven Heimerdinger. Saving um saving Avalanche for last, because if they get if they play, you know, like proc or if they play like I don't know, the brilliance thing. Oh wait, they have they do have ten cards in hand, so if I if I would bounce the Heimerdinger, they would have to just get rid of it, but But yeah, they can obviously get rid of cards. So just putting this in hand so it's going to be an 8 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. They have to actually spend 8 mana on. Yeah, there is a hand size limit. 10, 10 is the most you can have in hand. Of course they do. Of course they have that. Experimentation for optimal outcomes. Alright, sweet. First timer dinger gone. Plan this turn is play Karma with Deny. Next turn, double War Mother's Call. Maybe even just double Dawn and Dusk on the Anivia. That could be sweet. So I, I feel like we're going to be getting this, but you know we'll we'll see. I feel like we have a good chance though. So we've played two Hearth cards so far. So all of our creatures in our deck are plus two, plus two. Double War Mother's Call does sound kind of broken. For next turn. I guess we do have to we have to worry about them burning us out. Is that what we have to worry about? Like a bunch of get excited and stuff like that. So they drew into a get excited there with the progress day, so it only cost two mana. No. That's unfortunate having to use the deny right then. So now I don't get to War Mother's Call. So I only have 11 mana. That's really unfortunate. And, as one. and then again, if I, if I Dawn and Dusk the Anivia, they can, you know, get rid of the Anivia in response. <sighs> so that's unfortunate too. Hmm. Yeah, we do have the double gain life with Catalyst. So the Catalyst was a decent draw.
I guess worst case scenario is them using multiple burn spells to kill the Anivia. Like that's worst case scenario. And even in that that scenario, Anivia comes back. It gets revived by the egg, and um, and they're not using those burn spells on me. Uh, they have Draven. It's one of their Noxus cards. They they had like Noxious Guillotine to, to kill. I guess they could have a Noxion Guillotine here again to kill damaged units. The things I don't get to play War Mother's Call again next turn. I have to bank at least two mana to play that card. Taking 12 from this attack. Whoa, they just didn't block? Oh, they're dead. They need to block. That's not an overly long animation or anything. Yeah, they gave up. I honestly forgot about to to be completely honest, I I definitely forgot about how we would keep all of those Anivias. I forgot about that awesome part with Anivia Dawn and Dusk, how you just keep all the cause the Anivias turn into egg Nivias and then they come back. I wasn't like whenever I was thinking about my decisions of like what to do and everything, that was not something that was that I was calculating. I forgot about that. Why are you afraid of that kind of animation? You think that on on mobile that that won't you know they won't be able to have that kind of animation on mobile? Uh, the opponent's animations are too slow, and it'll skip your turn. Yeah, that would yeah, that would be bad. Shen Fiora. Last time against the Fiora deck I kept um the Avalanche and kind of regretted it. Take three, gain three. We'll see if that's worth 
using that there instead of... Um, instead of saving that. Huh. So, because I, I kind of want to Dawn and Dusk this. I get to draw two cards, have a couple other two power blockers, maybe make Avalanche better. And then next turn I'd have nine mana, so I'd be able to Hearth Guard plus Avalanche. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I was also thinking, like, what if we play Hearth Guard here and then Dawn and Dusk the Hearth Guard? Like, that could be kind of cool. But that's a lot of extra cards. on the 5-2. Assume they have another Fiora in hand. Yeah, another one of those. Um... We're still at 20. We've done a great job staying alive. Staying alive. Yep. So if I don't play anything else this turn, the next turn I get to War Mother's Call. Do go down to ten. Protect house floor. If they if they deny this, they're cheating. Denies a cheat card. Yeah, no cheating. Hey, Rav Ravalki. Still alive for now. By force of will. Still alive for now. Uh, 
Ahí. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Si creo 4 random spells, I'll have 10, and so then I have to. discard. gonna play this thing and draw two. Yep, just gotta keep surviving for a little bit. I mean, War Mother's Call is gonna really help us out. We don't want to keep drawing every single creature, though. We don't want to draw all the Anivias. We want to put Anivia into play off of War Mother's Call. Dang. Yes, yeah, so, man, it's, that's just more and more creatures. We're going to run out of creatures for one more call here. We just drew them all. That's unfortunate. Our is yours. No, I was playing Anivia! No, I was playing Anivia. Boo. Definitely meant to play Anivia, but yeah, that was that was terrible, like drawing the three creatures in a row. Where there is life, there we there go. Is hope. Better. Yeah, we probably still okay. I sense an imbalance. Yeah, we do get to put two Karmas back into the deck with that. I want to play a few things first. So can... Gotta get under 10 spells in hand. That's something we gotta do. So we're gonna play the Catalyst, gain gain six. This is our homeland. If it's a fight they want, you cannot escape. The land provides to those who listen. We're definitely good. Yeah, opponent agreed. Oh, I'm getting the, getting, getting the hang of this deck. Getting the hang of this now. Right? Yeah, isn't there so much depth in this game with just one set? Man, I, I can't wait till we start having, you know, more and more and more sets. Um, just what can really happen with this game. It's been a fun deck to play. It's not, you know, like we, we struggled a little bit. You know, we lost three. But also I think some of the, like, it's been a little bit of, it's been a little rough for just, you know, familiarity with exactly what I need to play and, and sequencing and all that kind of stuff. Normally, I'd oh, we could just get rid of the avalanche. I was gonna say normally I'd get rid of deny, but probably not against our opponent's deck. This looks like a good hand. Yeah, like there's there's gonna be um, no expansions. It from what it my best guess 
from seeing like a kind of like a, a roadmap is it I think it's gonna be like new sets every four months. That's my best guess. Yeah, I don't. Okay, good. I'm not. I'm not muted. Okay, good. Yeah, no mute. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a cool combo. Get to draw a card. We want to draw War Mother's Call. We don't need to worry about deny on their side. We just want to draw War Mother's Call. I now have uh, I now have twin disciplines that can protect Karma, so I could play Karma with twin disciplines back up for Grasp the Undying, but they could have Vengeance to kill Karma. All right, cool. No. No vengeance. Good. Let's get some new spells. Hey, Karandas. Karen Dress. Um, how's it going? A couple people said that they've been trying out your, your deck from yesterday and it's been doing well. You're on Dying Control. Boo. So they had the removal there. I wanted to play Dawn and Dusk on the Karma with Deny Backup, but now I can't have deny backup for playing the dawn and dusk so i think i'm just playing the sentry now instead so I, can't, I can't like just play dawn and dusk on this and then they grasp the undying it and i just get super blown out like that even just one more mana we could at least have twin disciplines but i i don't think i can get that blown out Four mana, so they so black spear is basically the only removal spell they can have now. Hmm. Why would you want to play Karma, D Dawn and Dusk on Karma? Because end of round, create a, create a random spell in hand. So it'd be a, you know, it'd be attack with two four threes and create two random spells. You know, so it'd be like a draw two. I use the deny, not the twin disciplines, because the twin disciplines can save Karma from damage dealt. All right, so they're attacking for three, six, nine. Let me count that one more time. Yep. So put me down to three, which isn't like the you know we have ritual renewal, so it's not the worst. By force of will. Now I'll still block. Avalanche isn't bad. It would level up Thrash. Which would get a Nivea. 
Alright, Avalanche now sounds bad. There's no reason not to play Ice Kill Archer right now. do with this karma chameleon we know she comes and goes I want to play winter winter's breath but I don't want to play winter's breath and then they play a new thresh I don't necessarily want to just pass because then if I pass and they just say okay and go to combat that's bad for me too so I guess we have to play winter's breath You want me to go for Dusk Dawn plus pack mentality? I guess that is a pretty sweet combo, isn't it? Dusk Dawn pack mentality. Uh, bad news, they did have another Thresh. You know, it wouldn't be good if they if they had just, you know, vengeance or anything that would break it up. You know, it's it's very fragile, but it could have been could have been game ending. Then, well, we would have had five karmas, so that means we would have cast six of these. So it would have been plus twelve, plus twelve in overwhelm. This is our time. All right, that part re resolved. Because there, I had deny backup, and I had deny backup on the Karma also, but it's not. 
If I would have had to use deny, then I would have just had these those extra karmas that would not have done very much. Is their plan just ruination? Yeah, that's the thing. If I would have just gone forward and then they just ruinationed. That would have been rough. Um This isn't going to kill the Anivia for good. I could kill the Anivia good for Avalanche, but then it would kill two, two of my Anivias. I could Avalanche first, and it would kill their Anivia for good and not mine. But then I don't have Deny available for like a Ruination or, you know, anything. This is kind of a mess. Return to us. This is a mess. I mean, I like our chances here. Because, like, next turn we'll have pack mentality plus deny. And I think that should help us out quite a bit. Six. Oh yeah, I guess this could be lethal if I play the hearth card. Wait, no, because they'd have to stack with that. So they'd have six damage. No, they can't have lethal. Unless there's some kind of tr other trick. Oh! Thresh's Challenger! Oh no, it is lethal! No! Gosh, I don't... Uh... No, this is lethal now. That's a bug. That's a bug. I protect this place. So you have the Anivia in hand and Anivia turns into a harsh winds, and so it's just a harsh winds on the battlefield? That can't be right, is it? 
So obviously like that Anivia was in their hand, and Thresh says it will take take a champion from your hand. But it was a harsh wins because there was the other Anivia in play. Is that a bug or is that is that how that's supposed to be? I don't know, now that Anivia is just gone. Well that's the difference in the game. If that was a regular Anivia, I would have lost, so I would have taken five more damage. So that's obviously the Obviously, can just be the difference in the game here. I can't imagine that's supposed to be how the design is supposed to be, right? And that's not how it's... That's not how... It was, you know, designed in a board meeting. I can't imagine. Yeah, it's true. You don't really have the champion in hand. So I don't, I don't know. Yes, I... I mean, maybe that is how it's supposed to supposed to happen. Just, it doesn't feel like it's the spirit of the card. <laughs> Thanks, Necro. Alright, sorry about that. Dogs be barking. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I could I could see that that's supposed to be the rule of just nothing should be brought alongside. I could see that being the case. I don't have anything else to play besides Dawn and Dusk right now. Doesn't set me up for a good... Like, that doesn't set me up to be in a good spot next turn. So I think instead I'm just going to use Will of Ionia. Winter's Breath? So I have two options. Winter's Breath or Dawn and Dusk on the Shadow Assassin. Hmm. 
this is a play trigger. It's not a like a when it when it enters. So like doing it on this and trying to frostbite two things would not work. This is a summon trigger. So you know we do get to draw the two cards and get a couple more jump blockers. That was the worst case scenario for us to see is them have a will of Ionia. Which they don't play very many, but do you have the deny for it? Good. So they didn't have another will or a deny. Um, what do we want to do here? Just play a Nivea attack, kill four things. I guess that does free up their battlefield. Like, so there's a good and bad to this. Like, this, the bad part is it frees up their battlefield to play a lot uh, more threatening threats. The good part is we get a harsh winds. Which helps protect us from such threatening threats. My homeland. Looking for Take it. I'll take it. Clutch, winner's breath. Clutch, I tell you. No! They had to deny. No, man. That car was going to win us the game. <laughs> That car was going to win us the game. Um My life for Avarosa. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. I have to block with the egg now. Yeah, Sonic Man, I switched over to playing Legends of Runeterra this instead. Is our time. This is a new game that's uh, very balanced, very enjoyable. I wrote a few weeks ago that Google document of why I'm playing Legends of Runeterra and why I recommend people play this game. And yeah, switched over to this. All right, so we can have a Nivea attack. Open. 
Watch your branches. I wanted to play the 2 1 first to see if they, they played another creature that would die to Anivia. never even seen this deck play barrier before but that's gonna save them also man they've just had they've just had it all That one was going to be a win. That deny was crazy. And then, you know, barrier, which I never see barrier with that deck, but they, they could obviously just have twin disciplines or elixir of iron. Like, those things are cards you see a lot more, and those, those would have had the same effect. So it's not that, it's not like that out of the, uh, out of the ordinary. It's a good start. I'm not sure. Push back the darkness. A true Felionian will. All I'm doing is playing Icefield Archer as gain six life. Because we're still planning on avalanching. So all we did there was just gain six life. Which, you know, gain six life, that, that does sound like a very reasonable life gain amount. Especially when they use so many cards, and we're still up two cards on them. I was a little worried about that card. Yeah, two mana gain six isn't bad. You know, we could do worse than that. By the strength of our convictions. <laughs> they really want us to have Dawn and Dusk. So you are playing Dawn and Dusk.
dark times. Yuck. That's a dead card. Um. Basically using that right now just because we would we would waste that man if we don't. Alright, I like getting these winner's breaths. There's a kill in the air. So Lucian's gonna flip. Yeah, I that was like my my very first instinct was is to add the second winner's breath instead of dawn and dusk, but I wanted to continue to play it, and you know I didn't I didn't want to act immediately on the first instinct, but yeah, that was definitely the first instinct. So that one, my my other option besides doing what I just did is I was considering Dawn and Dusking the Hearth Guard, and getting two more Hearth Guards because we didn't really need to draw more cards. But that would have been two, you know, we would have had six blockers, um, and then all of our creatures would have had plus two, plus two, and so on. Oh, you're welcome, Jelly Tug. Oh, I'm out of mana. That's kind of bad. I was thinking I would still have the Brittle Steel up. I was thinking I had one mana for some reason that I could still Brittle Steel. will transform another rally would be a little a little tough not really would be fine but they have two rallies in hand then it gets the second one gets tough or if they have more creature I guess like what one more creature than a rally uh, that, that thing not difficult did not fall in vain. Dang, why are we getting these tall tales? My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Yeah, Jelly Tug says, yeah, the reward system in this game is fantastic. I haven't spent money, and I feel like I'm throwing champions and exciting rewards constantly, and I have something to look forward to constantly with capsules and wild cards. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. That's, I guess that's what, that's, like, kind of what, uh, you know, Riot's business model is, you know, free to play, you pay for cosmetics. You know, make the game free to play, make it awesome, make, you know, make as many people play as possible, and people pay for cosmetics. And you have as many people playing as possible, so they want to purchase those. By force of will. 
cannot escape. I protect this place. I could have had the 4 6 and Nivia block the Lucian and try to kill Lucian. Didn't really feel any need to do that, though. Yeah, it's true. I don't have any cosmetics on this deck. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of egg nivias. All right, six and four. Good record. This deck was pretty sweet. This deck was fun to play. This is a good one. Um, yeah, I do think... And, you know, I wanted to play more, but yeah. I think uh, a second Winter's Breath, which I guess I don't have a second Winter's Breath. Oh, I got... We have, like, infinite stuff. <clears throat> At this point. All right, so second Winter's Breath over se second Dawn and Dusk. And then it did feel like maybe, like, the Twin Disciplines and Elixir of Irons. Like, we had too many Twin Disciplines and Elixirs. Elixir of Iron. Like, you know, like, it was maybe too many of those kind of cards. Um, maybe just keep the Elixirs and don't really need the Twin Disciplines. Darn. I was hoping this was a play trigger, not a summon trigger. I wanted to check this out. Because I was thinking that, like, it would kind of be nice to have, like, another larger creature to play. But that's a summon trigger. So we don't want that. Because we don't, we don't want a War Mother's Call and have, like, cool stuff in play. And then a Solitary Monk just comes in and bounces all of our stuff. Like, so we can't really play that. Uh, Babbling Bjerg. We could play Babbling Bjerg. We could do that. Babbling Bjerg would draw us. So I feel like we need a, a couple more units. The more units we play, the less, like, less likely it is that we hit um, our really good ones with War Mother's Call, though. Well, if we just play, like, an, an Icy Yeti, we could Frostbite a bunch of stuff. Or a Mina Swift... No, that's a play. No, we don't want that. That's a play trigger. But I guess we... I was looking for something against aggro anyway. Um, let's see, maybe Rhyme Tusk Shaman? Oh, the, this... Okay, so yeah, we do have Emerald Awakener. It's probably just Emerald Awakener. That's actually probably the card. This can help us... Uh, in the late game. Yeah, we should probably just play Emerald Awakener. So maybe instead of Twin Disciplines, play Awakener? Hmm... I guess that is less things that. Oh, Karma. What if instead of Sentry? No. Like maybe instead of two Twin Disciplines, we play two Awakeners. That again, you know, whenever we get to Enlightened, this thing turns into a six-six. It can it can get larger also with Hearthguard. Um, that still gives us four total of, like, Elixir of Irons plus Twin Disciplines. Like, four things that protect Karma. So that's really all you need to protect. You know, you don't need to protect Shadow Assassin or Ice... You know, you don't need to protect anything else. You know, even a Nivea, you don't really need to protect too much. So that still gives us four of those cards. I think I like that. Uh, 
we could could cut down one elixir and one twin and make it make it two and two, but I feel like we're not ever like I I feel like the plus doesn't really matter very much. It's all about the like the the plus to the power. It's all about the plus to the toughness. It feels like one mana for two is a better deal than three mana for three. As far as toughness goes. So yeah, I could see I could definitely see playing a couple of Awakeners and and yeah, these War Mothers calls can start putting in Awakeners. That can be a real big deal. I like that. I like that. So there we go. That's that's a little change that I'd recommend making. Um, I'll change the deckless command for that also for those y'all on YouTube. So you'll have the the up to date deck list, even though it's not the the deck we played during the during this stream. And I'm changing that all of those right now. Boom. Save. All right, but there we go. So that's War Mother's Karma. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of the deck. Leave a comment. Those likes and comments really help. Um, also, if you want to see your deck on stream, remember it's only a $10 donation. Uh, for those of y'all on YouTube, the donate link is down below. Uh, send me Just send me the deck code and tell me what day you want me to play it. And uh, that's as easy as that. I'll also build the decks for you. If you have a, any idea for a deck that you want to see to see me build and play, just $10 donation for the donation deck. All right, but that's it here for War Mother's Karma. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.